So there's a new exotic in the world of Destiny. It's a new text mechanic scout and it's called the Dead Man's Tail. Today I will guide you into how to get your hands on this thing and it's relatively straightforward. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Okay so this quest line starts with the arms dealer strike upon the EDZ this week's Nightfall. Now access the strike through either the Nightfall or off the EDZ director it doesn't really matter. Once you are in the strike though the route from the start follow where I go. It will lead you to a room full of turrets. Take out the turrets and continue. You eventually come to an enemy called Groat Loyal to some random, whoever that is. Who cares? It's as simple as just taking him out. Once you are done here, you need to grab the intercepted distress signal. And from here guys, head to Savala within the tower. Once you get to Savala, you will then start the voice on the other side exotic quest which will unlock a mission for you on the Tangled Shore. The mission is quite straightforward with slight puzzle phases but mostly it's about triggering a buff to get through certain force fields. The buff is called some kind of Ogregor Link or whatever. You get the buff by shooting these paws, it then gives you a timer of around 15 seconds and allows you to run through these force fields. And it's more or less about accessing certain doors by accessing certain levers, getting these buffs then running through those force fields. So what I will do is leave you to watch the footage in what routes to take. Footage will be slightly cut in terms of removing parts not needed but the path will be all there for you to follow. And once we get to other parts which need more explaining, I will come back to you. So I'll catch you guys in a quick second. There's a distortion in the feed, no frequencies. Like ripples meeting in conversation. Executing trays. Stand by. a distortion. There's an open patch into the ship's computer. Perhaps courtesy of our lost friend. Those spores are harmonizing with a nearby concentration of darkness. There's no light here. Glycon navigation system marks their destination as an anomaly left in the wake of Mars's disappearance. the only life sign aboard. I see at least one other. Maybe a missing friend. It may not.
I found a journal of Callus' scribe, Omsat. Translation as follows. Today, Callus graced the Glycon with his presence and gazed upon the anomaly. His counselors prepare the exhibition chamber with gold from the Castellum. They are confident the crown is ready. The end will lay eyes upon him and weep at his magnificence. Okay, so once you get to this room right here, activate this lever. The walls will then start closing in. Here you need to take out the enemies and then shoot the vents in the floor looking for those power cells. I believe there's three or four in total. Now I don't think they are at random, but if they are, you will just need to learn which vents they are. You'll get this done in the end and if you die, it doesn't really matter. You respawn literally right outside this room. So once all four have been taken out, the walls will pause and stop closing in. You then need to find this vent within the floor and again, follow what I do on screen now and I'll catch you guys back at the bus. This ship's passageway is no longer connected as they should. another of Armsart's records. It reads, Tragedy of silence. He tore the wilting failures apart himself. The connection is strong, but the darkness does not speak through them. An ocean without wind. Even the light bearer could not coax it to awaken. are intact. Why didn't they try to run? Bring 
back to the tail, are you? Homsoth kept notes on experiment.
This decrepit creature to rest. So once you finally get to the boss, it's quite straightforward. You first need to take out the ads and do enough damage to the boss until he teleports down below. Now below the floor is basically too hot for you to stand on and it basically burns you alive. So you first need to activate three switches. There's one either end of the room and a third one is in this room where the floor is again too hot for you to stand on. So you have to quickly access the lever. Once you've done that, the floor below becomes cool enough for you to go down and lay down that damage on the boss. And it's basically rotations with his health bars. Once a bar is done, you need to head back up, take out the ads and repeat the process of activating the machine. But a little bit of a warning though, the footage you can see on screen now is me doing this with my pal Mido Life Crisis, credit to him for helping me out. At the time we didn't know the actual mechanics of this thing, and here's me using a sword. It's a little more difficult to do this as the floor next to the boss sees a set of blades so you burn out pretty quick. So other means of damage here besides swords would probably be better. But once you've done with the rotations with the boss, it's more or less over. Simply follow the route I take on screen now to this extra room which you need to go to and trigger something. From here guys, it's as simple as heading back to Savala and grabbing the exotic scout and it is as simple as that. So guys, if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Destiny on my behalf, be sure to subscribe and hopefully people I will see you on that next one. Faint traces of light. That thing was a guardian. We're too late. Far too late. Take the rifle. It was offered, was it not? Better in your hands than left for another. I'll speak to Savala about authorizing exploratory outings. If we can recover our lost friend's ghost, may learn more of how he died. Return to the city. We must assess our findings. Good. 